my name is Jessica Espinoza, and I'm the Fine Arts Professional Learning Specialist for the Cobb County School District. Today we will explore the process of adapting the book Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems into a musical. We will examine the role of the actor, playwright, and composer. For this session, we are partnering with the Alliance Theater, which is a professional theater here in Atlanta, Georgia, that Cobb County School District gets to partner with on a number of our fine arts programs. The Alliance Theater actually produced the show Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, The Rock Experience, here in Atlanta this spring. So we are going to get a sneak peek of all of the incredible components that go into producing a musical. We're going to start off by talking to one of the actors that's in the cast of the Alliance Theater's production. An actor is a performer who plays a character in the script. We'll be talking to my friend Juan, who plays the lead role of Wilbur. He's going to talk to us about the process of taking the character Wilbur from the picture book and bringing life to it on stage. Are you guys ready to meet Juan? All right, Juan, welcome. Hi Jessica, and hi Cobb County students. My name is Juan Carlos Unsueta, and I'm a professional actor and arts educator here in Atlanta. So it was super awesome to get to play the role of Wilbur J. Molrat Jr. in Alliance's production of Naked Molrat Gets Dressed, The Rock Experience. Um, when I received the email calling me in to audition for the show, you know, I get this email that said, hi Juan, we want you to come in and audition for the role of Wilbur, and they attached the script to the show, and uh, that's kind of all I had. But I knew that this was an adaptation of uh, Mo Willems' book. In the case of Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems, Mo Willems was the author and illustrator of his book, but he also was the playwright of the musical created. He wrote all of the lines and dialogue that the characters say. He also wrote the lyrics of the song. He wrote all the words in the musical. And he worked with a composer. And a composer composes the music for a show or a musical. So I ordered a copy of the book and read the book and fell in love with the story. Um, you know, I'm always a fan of the underdog in stories, you know, the person who is struggling to fit in or maybe they don't have all the qualities of someone that can achieve something, but they find a way to do it. So I really loved Wilbur as a character immediately. You know, then I auditioned and the audition went very well. We just had a really great time uh, with the director, with the music director, we were playing around with, you know, with like the physicality, how do mole rats move? Um, how are we gonna sing this music that's based on famous rock music? We dove into figuring out not just who our individual characters were, but how our characters work within the world of the story. You know, these are mole rats that live in a colony. And so we researched, you know, what is a colony? How does a colony of these particular kinds of animals work? You know, they're a lot like a bee colony um, or other insects that, that live in that sort of environment. Um, there's a queen. All the, all the mole rats have like specific things they do, almost like worker bees, but like worker mole rats. Um, so we, we researched a lot of that. We got to go to the zoo and see real naked mole rats. Juan, isn't it just incredible how much work goes into being an actor? I mean, you had to research mole rats, you had to explore how they moved, you had to learn your lines, you had to learn your songs, you had to learn your dance moves. 
all of that's a lot of work. That brings me to my next question. Juan, what advice do you have for any aspiring actors out there? I am sure there are students listening that want to be an actor on stage, or maybe they want to be on television or in movies. What would be your advice for them? <sighs> what tips do I have for aspiring actors? Well, really taking part in any sort of production. I don't know whether that's like a, a dance recital or a chorus performance or a show choir or a play or a musical. Um, taking part in anything like that where you get to work together with other artists, other actors, other dancers, other singers on creating a piece of art together uh, is the best way to start on this journey to be an actor. Great advice. Thank you, Juan. Now we are going to have the chance to perform with Juan uh, one of the musical numbers in the show. Actually, the Alliance Theater videoed one of the performances before it closed. And we have a video of one of the my favorite musical numbers in the show. It's a jazzy, full cast number about hats. And we are going to get to sing along. It's a karaoke version of it. And you're going to get to see Juan dressed up as Wilbur, get to see the costumes and the set and the lighting. All of those things were brought to us by designers that dreamt up a vision of what they wanted this mole rat colony to look like and the setting to look like. But before we perform, I think it's important that we warm up our voices. So I've asked one of our very own Cobb County music teachers to help walk us through and sing us through a vocal warm-up. So let's all say hi to Ms. Tidmore, the music teacher at LaBelle Elementary School, which is one of our arts integration elementary schools here in Cobb County. Thanks, Jessica. Hi, I'm Ms. Tidmore, and I'm the music teacher at LaBelle Elementary School. Go Lions! Today we're going to get our voice ready to sing. So let's take a nice deep abdominal breath. Here we go. Filling up our abdominal cavity and deep breath. Exhale. Excellent. Now repeat after me. I want you to be a great echo for me to get our head voice warmed up today. Here we go. And hello. job. How are you today? Great job. So the phrase that we're going to use to sing today is from our song and it's Hats and More, the clothing store. Here we are ready to sing together and Hats and More, the clothing store. Hats and More, the clothing store. Hats and More, the clothing store. Hats and More, the gonna be awesome. Have a great day. Of all shapes and sizes Come on down for some big surprises The name is Wilbur Here to astound you Looking for a new kind of groovy Step on over, check this and you'll see I will change your life Oh yes, I am bound to With hats and more at the clothing store There's something new to put on you to make you sing hats and more. So convenient with lots of parking. Once you've seen it, it's worth remarking. 
It's the hottest fashion in the colony. It's the only fashion in the colony. So get in here, it's a celebration, an incarnation of imagination. We're the only store where you get to see. Come and see our socks and shoes and shorts and skirts. I know and you and love and jackets too. Bowler hats and dapper spats. And you love so many clothes, overalls and underwear, wading boots and pajamas. Fancy gowns for your mamas. Fabulous. As you can see, it is so much work to put on a show. There's so many different moving parts that go into uh, producing a musical. You have to have the actors, you have to have the director, the choreographer, you've got to have a script, so you have to have your playwright and your composer. Um, and you have to have, the most important thing is you have to have an audience, right? And you all have been a fabulous audience. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed Mo Willems part two session. And now it's time for you to put on your own family fashion show. The task for today is to take all of your family members and dress them up with all sorts of accessories from around your house. We have some suggested characters that you can use on the next slide. Take those ideas and those characters and put on your very own fashion show with your family, much like we did. Get creative, think outside the box. You can use pots and pans, cereal boxes, whatever you can get your hands on. Have fun. Bye. 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 Innovative. Sophisticated. And creative. Stimulated. Highly rated. Why debate it? Who could hate it? Hats. <laughs> 